I'm here with Steve Shepard from Washington State University, and you are an entomologist here at WSU. Yes, yes. And you have some orchards and mm -hmm. lots of bees. How many bees? We usually have around 200 colonies, and then we move some of them into the university orchard for pollination of tree fruits. Yeah, important. Yeah. One of the, the yeah. things that we need bees for. Yes, indeed. How important are they? They're, they're quite important if you like to eat fruits and vegetables. If you only care about eating wheat and rice, uh, you don't really need bees. But, but a lot of the vegetables and uh, fruits require pollination, nut crops, and also things like alfalfa. The this, this seed production is dependent on insect pollination, so it's really important for uh, milk and dairy products and meat production. So tell me about um the problems that the bees have been facing, we've heard a lot about it in the news over the last several years, it seems, this colony collapse disorder, yes. CCD. Tell me about that. Well, beekeepers and honeybees have had problems for 20 or 30 years, but starting in about 2008, beekeepers began losing larger numbers of bees than they, they were used to. So there's been a lot of research um, directed at trying to find out the causes, and it appears to not be any one thing. It's not a new virus, it's not a new fungal pathogen, it's not that suddenly a new pesticide is being used that harms them. Instead, it seems to be when they're stressed with several things. Yeah. So you know, moving stress can be one. Improper nutrition. Honeybees have problems with a parasitic mite. And uh, you are doing all sorts of research involving bees. Yeah, we work on honeybee breeding and honeybee genetics here and, and some other issues related to colony health. What is exciting right now in the field of bee research? Well, there's a lot, but here at WSU, we're establishing a genetic repository where we can store for dozens or maybe even hundreds of years mm -hmm. uh, honeybee genetic material, honeybee semen, to use for breeding purposes. And most recently, we were funded by the Washington State Tree Fruit Commission to go to the Tian Shan Mountains of Central Asia to uh, bring back semen of Apis mellifera pomonella, which is the honeybee that is adapted to apples. So apples originated in these mountains of Central Asia, and this is the honeybee from that location. The idea is it would be a bee very well adapted for apple pollination, mm -hmm. and it would work at cold temperatures. That's really amazing. 